Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountain Batten here, and today I'm bringing you guys my first impressions of the just released Tier 10 Italian cruiser, the Venezia? 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 However, you say that, I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments down below. So, the Venezia, she is a Tier 10 heavy cruiser of the Italian line. And I have to say, after playing the Amalfi, I'm actually quite excited to get my hands on this ship now. Um, from playing the Amalfi, I actually had just about enough XP to go through the Tier 9 ship, which I do have research. I do not have it purchased yet. So yeah, the Brindisi? Brindisi? However you say that. Um, a first impressions video will be coming out later on that ship. So, uh, right away, no modules equipped, no captain skills assigned. I don't have my Amalfi captain on this ship yet. I will be moving him over in a second. So let's go ahead and look at her base stats. So armor layout right off the top. She's got 25 mil mil uh, millimeter bow armor with a strip of 40 millimeter bow armor. Interesting, interesting, interesting indeed. Um... 30 millimeter upper belt, so that 40 millimeter strip continues down the side. 25 millimeter rear, 40 millimeter there, and a oh, an aft plating of 60 millimeter. Looks like that is covering the steering gears there. Interesting. So maybe the ship won't, the ship steering won't, won't get knocked out as much as the other cruisers. Okay, let's look at its citadel. Looks like it is. Oh boy, that's high. <laughs> 165 millimeters. Of Citadel, yep, and it is high and exposed behind uh, 25 millimeters of armor. But yep, looks just like the Amalfi's. Well, maybe not just like the Amalfi's, but definitely easily Citadelable, just like the Amalfi. Yeah, actually, is it higher than the Amalfi's? Nah, it's about the same height. Okay. Now her survivability, her hit points is 51,800 hit points, 28% damage re reduction. Guns, she has 15 203mm guns that reload in 20 seconds. So, just pointing this out, the tier 10 ship with 15 guns with 203s reloads in 20 seconds, whereas the tier 5 premium, the Genova, also reloads in 20 seconds as well. And I do believe that, oh, interesting, the Amalfi reloaded in 16 seconds. Although she is not, I don't have any modules on her just yet. I can imagine get that down. Anyway, uh, looks like they have a range of, where is the range at? I am looking right over it. Wow, I, I, I am just blind today. Oh, there it is right there. 17.1 kilometers. Jeez, guys, I am blind today, let me tell you. 17.1 kilometers, okay. Maximum dispersion, 21, uh, 21, 151 meters. 180 time, 25.7 seconds. Sap is capable of penetrating 54 millimeters of armor and her maximum a sap damage is 5200 her a maximum ap damage is 4800 and the velocity for ap is 910 meters a second sap is 950 meters a second secondary armaments you have 12 by 2 90 millimeter guns and they have a range of six kilometers and a penetrating power of 14 millimeters. I imagine you, again, not using this for brawling, but this, I can imagine this contributes more to the AA than anything. Her torpedo, she has 2x3, 530 millimeter torpedoes with a reload time of 71 seconds, a 180 time of 7.2 seconds, maximum damage of 13,900, a range of 13.5 kilometers, and a detectability range of 1.1 kilometers that's quite good but speed is 56 knots so again long range very slow torpedoes a she has a rating of 83 and yep there are those 90 millimeter guns again contributing to the aa looks like you get some 65 millimeter guns and some 37 millimeter guns as well maneuverability max is 36.6 knocks turning circuit rates of 760 meters relative time of 11.6 seconds Concealment, again, base is 15.3 kilometers. All right, let's go ahead and oh, let's look at her consumables first. So she gets uh, Damage Con, uh, the unique exhaust smoke, which is very good, um, Fighter or Spotter, and Heal. Okay, so fairly Italian and basic. 
All right, now let's go ahead and I will spec her out and move my Amalfi captain on over here. Let's go ahead and equip all premium consumables before I forget again. All right, upgrades. Let's go with, hmm. Uh, let's just go with main armaments. Protect those suckers. And what do I want? I want propulsion, steering. Let's go with, huh. Well, the steering's fairly protected by that strip of arm back there, so let's just go with propulsion. Okay. Um, so I don't you know. I don't want any slower reload time. So let's just go with. Let's just make the dispersion even better. And okay. Steering gears for faster rudder shift. And I could go with uh, even quicker uh, steering gears, or I think I'm going to go with consumer to bring that consumer range down a bit. And last, let's go with main battery mod 3. Alright, so now we have a 17 second reload time, that's much better. And a concealment range of 13.7 kilometers. And a rudder shift time of 9.3 seconds. Okay. And a max dis maximum dispersion of 141 meters. Alright, let me go ahead and throw my Amalfi captain on here. Uh, if I wasn't saving that commander XP, I would use it. Alright, so now I have preventer maintenance, uh, adrenaline rush, superintendent, and concealment again. So now the concealment range is 12.4 kilometers. And what was I saving up for? I think I was saving up for... Actually, I'm not sure what I was saving up for. <laughs> um, we'll see. We'll see how this performs and then make adjustments from there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and throw some flags on her and I'll see you in battle. 15 guns. Wow. But you know, I have a 20 second reload where the small lens has a 4 second reload. I do you know the small lens guns are obviously much smaller. But still, you get my point. Very nice rudder with the build I have on there. And um, she does feel a, a bit like a you know, not as nimble as the Amalfi, so far at least, but still pretty nimble. I mean, the thing is, she's just, just so long, her turning circle radius is, is quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and aim for the GK's uh, superstructure. Ooh, that is a lot of shells. Alright, 3,000 damage. It's something. So there's something to be said for the lack of having the ability to, you know, start any fires. Um, that's really apparent, especially when they're bow tanking. Because yes, you can do a, a decent bit of damage to their superstructure, but at the end of the day, you, you can't start any fires. We're also pretty uh, stomping them pretty bad. Right now, naturally, there's a, there's another version of me over there. And of course, I had sap loaded instead of AP. Don't thought I'd even make it over the island. It won't. Just in case he tries to get out. Oh, Yoshino. Come back, Yoshino. Hey there. Oh, he's just a... Oh, shit. What the... Those are some hallucinogen-looking shells. What the heck? Is that the, um... The frickin' special Italian commander or something? What? Really? Just a torpedo um, protection hit on him? Oh, 
naturally friendly torpedoes. Wouldn't be a match without them. Wow, those look so friggin' trippy. Got rear turrets on target, that should be able to take him out. Oh yeah, they should do him then. If they hit. God, these shells are so fast. I am not used to this. There we go. I wonder, can I hurt a Yammy? I, I mean, I'm sure I'm able to. Let's see how bad I can. Wow, jeez. Overpins on a Yammy. Well, only, only th four shells hit? Jesus. See if we can hit that yammy again. So, come on. He's still no. He's sailing, not selling broadside anymore. Dang it! I'm detected by oh, ironic. This guy's not even paying attention. So seven kilometers away, have the full broadside of a yammy. I'm not, you know, I'm not thinking I'm going to be able to delete him, but let's see what this does. Wow. That was fairly lackluster. That is a weak spot. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, good old smoke screen. Oh my god, did that stupid thing. Only fired one turret because I had sap loaded up next. Pretty sure the sad part is that I probably would have done more damage if I had sap loaded there. Do you like that horn though? Wow. Huh. Interesting first game. Um AP seems a little underwhelming. Uh SAP seems underwhelming. I know these things are supposed to be good at doing damage against lightly armored targets. I mean, I did freaking try to fight a battleship. 
But okay, there's Republic. I forgot about all the turrets I had. It's been interesting. Because the Republic's coated in 32 millimeters of armor, so there you go. Yeah, see? Look at that. Forgot I didn't have priority target. So that one volume of Republic was pretty good because I hit that. Um, Republic has this weird section where, um, like the superstructure and the. Um, let me see where I can point it out. Like that section right there. On other French battleships, for some reason it's not modeled in, but on the Republics it's included as a superstructure and it's just all 32 millimeters. This Wooster is trying so hard. Okay, there. That's decent. Okay. Ah, Shimakaze. Now I can really show off. Or are the Wooster's just gonna melt him? Oh shit! Oh, of course. Wow. That German armor. There we go. Okay, so this match is going a bit better than the previous ones. Ooh, I was about to say it wasn't going to be close, but with the- Oh, come on! With the turning circle radius of the ship, it was almost quite close there. Oh, well. Oh. There you go, that ended the game. Huh. Okay, so a much better game that time, although it was a bit of a walkover. 94,000 damage. 129 shell hits, though. Yeah, that's, that's not a lot of damage for a shell. I'm pretty sure it was mostly... Yeah, it was... Oh, yeah, it was all sap. Did I even fire any AP? No, I didn't even fire any AP. That was all sap. And most of my damage came from the Hokuru. I'm sorry, the uh, Ohio. Huh. Go figure. Okay, I think we'll do one more. Uh, this will be the fourth one. I can only do is keep throwing torpedoes at it. 
Oh, there you go. Oh, there he is. There you are. Uh, that was fourteen thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Fourteen thousand hit points off of it. You see that? Shit. That should take him out. God, the ships in A, they just won't leave it. If that hits that Kleber, that should do him in. A Kleber, however you say the thing's name. Oh my god, are you shitting me? Come on. Oh! Was that a no damage pin? Got Kremlin's attention. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Woo hoo hoo. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. 140 health left. <sighs> Jeez. If these guys just weren't out of the fight in A so long, we might would have had this. Yep, there we go. Alright guys, so the Venezia, Venezia, however you want to call it. My first impressions of it is that unfortunately, like most of the um, most of the rest of the Italian cruiser line, it is meh. It's an interesting design. It's a really nice looking ship. I like the design of it, but it's just so underwhelming. In a world full of gimmicks um, in the game so far, the Venezia's gimmick, it's sap and it's uh, exhaust smoke, unfortunately isn't gimmicky enough to really have it perform well now the biggest issue is that sap all i've seen so far is that it's just kind of nerfed he it's not that great i mean against things like destroyers and like cruisers it's pretty good darn good against them but it's unable to really perform in terms of damage 
I mean, not having HE hurts this ship a lot in the entire Italian cruiser line as well. They they just don't have that ability to set fires and do damage over time. They're so dependent upon getting shots on target. And with SAP, you have to be doing that the entire game in order to have a decent uh, damage number. And I'm not talking you know, like in the 200 and something thousands. I'm, I'm just talking about over 100,000 damage. I didn't break over 100,000 damage in this ship the entire uh, four games that I played her. And it just really feels like this whole line is just kind of underwhelming. The Amalfi was kind of good. Um, if I got in a game with, that had more than its fair share of destroyers in it, it was definitely very good. But the reload time on this ship, 20 seconds for a tier 10 ship for 203 millimeter guns with no HE, and definitely, definitely under underperforming AP as well, it's it just doesn't feel that great. Now, again, this is just my first impression. It's just four or so games in it. The big drawbacks, uh, just kind of as a, in summary here, is SAP's not that great. AP isn't that great. Um, the armor, this thing cannot take a hit, as you guys saw there at the end of that last game. Um, I, yeah, I survived with a, a mere 140 hit points left. Um, the turning circle radius is quite large. And this is a very large cruiser for not being something like a like a super cruiser. So here here's the the uh, Venezia. Let's go find the the uh, Alaska real quick. Don't reset camera. And let's just look at the size comparison. So what did I park? The, there it is. Oh my God! It's this. It's literally the same size as the Alaska. Look at this. So there's the Alaska. And here's the uh, Venezia again. Unfortunately, these things are at the other side of the the carousel. It's literally the same length as Alaska. How's it? Let's look at Stalingrad. Stal Stalingrad is friggin' huge. So, um, it's the same size as Stalingrad. Ah, what the heck? So, just to make sure I'm not losing my mind here, Stalingrad. And then, um, Booster. Okay, Booster's smaller than Stalingrad. Salem. Salem's a little bit bigger than Booster. And then, watch, the camera has to move out for Venezia. Yeah, because, see, look, the, the, the Venezia can't fit in frame, but, um... Salem could. Wow. Okay. So Venezia is a big cruiser. It's not. A, it's not as wide as the uh, the super cruisers, but it is big. Doesn't have that much. I mean, it's got fifty one thousand health. The hill isn't that fantastic on it, and it just eats anything that gets thrown at it. So it's just meh. And unfortunately, it's not the ship's fault. Like I said, the ship is a good design, and I do enjoy. I think the design of it's really great. But, um, it was really skinny, though. It's just so underwhelming. I mean, not having HE, it's such a big drawback. Especially in a meta where it's just throw HE and burn HE at everything. And you have to try and stay in the fight for as long as you can. And the, the exhaust smoke certainly helps with that. But other than that, it it's a mad boat so far. Um, it's not bad, but it's not... Great, it's just meh, and hopefully, as I play this shit more throughout the week, um, I'll find exactly the the notch, the the niche for this for this ship, and hopefully, maybe I'll come up with some better games. But anyway, guys, that is my first impression of the Venezia. It's meh, not terrible, not great, just meh, as unfortunately it, the earlier Italian cruisers kind of foreshadowed. So if you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 6,000 subscribers. We are getting there mighty fast. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. And also hope to catch all of you guys in the next one.